What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. There's the new trailer guys. Let's go. Okay, the audio might sound a little bit weird. I'm in a new location, new setting. Don't worry, just for this video. I'll be back at the old setup before you know it. But enough talk, let's watch the trailer. Okay, I saw this still image. It's the unit, the unit page, Disney Plus. Okay, there it is inside Give the building. The He's back. We saw that before. We saw this before. This is old footage. Harry, back here. Harry, yeah, back here. Ruby, more old footage. More old footage. They've rechanged this though. It looks different. They've put a filter over it to make it more grey. It looks cool. It looks better. Oh, and it's David Tennant right next. It's called the TARDIS. It's a time and space machine. Mrs. Flood reference. And it, also, it's, it's going right after it. Reuse from the title. That looks cool. That looks cool. Well, that's not gonna happen, is it? Butterfly effect. What's wrong? What? With all my adventures, crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. Crazy. Shapeshifters. This place is completely. Bridge is coming Oh, so Things that's how her powers work. More and more supernatural. Oh, so that's the OT. That's that Ruby Sunday's new command. That's the, the first episode. That's the clip that we were showing. That looks pretty cool. There are powers beyond the It's the guy, it's the, the kid who got cast. Oh, we're going back to the, the Ruby pit. Road. That's a bit of a weird this shot. Is what we're trying to stop. I'm still in Mom. Pyramids of Mars moment. Okay. Well, that's cool. Safe. That's that's like the episode safe. The Devil's Court. I promise. It's taken me all this time. It's looking pretty damn good. To realize what I'm here to do, I'm gonna save the world. Change, 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 change. Everything is possible. Song. Cool. That's like what they were referencing. Cool. 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 Good trailer. Okay. Okay. Interesting trailer. What's really interesting is that they didn't release it on the Doctor Who YouTube channel. They only released it on the Disney Plus channel. Maybe that means that we're getting another trailer that's specifically I am wishful thinking. But we've got a lot there. We finally have a lot to get our hands on. We've got a lot more tangible stuff, let's say. Now that we've had a real good look at it, we can more or less get a real feel for how the rest of the series is going to be. And overall, in my opinion, as I said in the reaction, I think it's looking good. Thumbs up from me. Now, of course, there are a few cons, namely the episode count. There are a few shots that look a little bit weird, especially considering Doctor Who just sold its soul to Disney. If we were getting more money, I would have hoped that it would look a little better than that. But still, that isn't really what I'm here for in Doctor Who. And taking a step back, overall, it does still look visually good. Just a few odd VFX shots that don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Let me go back. So at the one minute segment, we get to see the villain of the Regency England episode, presumably the villains. This is the character played by Susie from Torchwood. She is a shapeshifter. Maybe this is going to be the modern equivalent to not Banner Cafalata, the green Banner Cafalata from End of Time. That's my theory. Not really, I'm just kidding. But it's interesting, you know, we had the Slitheen, now we have these guys. Green shapeshifty aliens. Rusty Davies seems to love those. And a little bit after that, we get our first glimpse at Jinx Monsoon's power set, the villain of the Devil's Court episode she uses music as power note charts that shoot at people it's kind of like in fear her that same effect that they use for the pencil uh what's it called scribble that's it and later on we see ruby sunday entangled in them if i can find the shot it was only for a single second yeah so at 135 we see it chained up by them now this is a much more impressive looking shot it's quite a, an effective image i think it's quite creepy there was was an indie horror film about VHS tapes that gained sentience and then took over a neighborhood. It kind of reminds me of that. Kate Stewart has a line where she says, I think it's supernatural things are becoming more common. What is it? Let me go back and listen. Things seem to be turning more and more supernatural. Things seem to be turning more and more supernatural is exactly what she says, which is pretty much what we all figured from the church on Ruby Road and Rusty Davies comments about fantasy becoming more and more of the focus. 
which I mean it always was. But now we're just straight up doing magic people. To be fair, Rusty Davies is playing into his strengths here. Random shit is just happening with no explanation. There's this really cool image, presumably from the Devil's Court episode of Nightmare on Elm Street with the hands coming through, except this case it's a drum kit. There's this shot of Ruby Sunday shooting a gun, which to me looks like the one that Captain Jack had in The Stolen Earth, except because of the laser effect that we see come out of it, we know that it is not. It could also be a Sontaran one. Probably not. I don't really think the Sontarans are going to be in this series. And the last notable thing I want to go over before we talk about general vibes is the line, there are powers beyond the universe so vast that the whole world could slide into the pit. Now, I do think there's a little bit of splicing there. I don't think that's the actual full line, but this is probably hinting at, again, what I was saying more about the supernatural stuff, stuff we don't understand. Toy makers, legions, maybe. Who knows? Some people know. But yeah, let's step back from that just for a second. The trailer overall is good. It's definitely a good trailer, but there is a lot of old footage. There's a lot of footage from the Church of Ruby Road that I'm not sure if it's reshot or refiltered because it looks so different. Now, in my opinion, it looks better. It's got a more cinematic feel to it with the gray. I'm pretty sure it's a filter, although some of these shots feel just a, a little bit new. Maybe it's just because they look so different. It's the color grading, right? I think half of the trailer is old footage from the Church of Ruby Road, or at least 45 seconds out of the two minutes. But there is some new shots following on directly from the end of the episode, which I didn't assume. I thought we were gonna have a little bit of a time jump, but no, we're going right in, which is good to know. And we get a little look into their first ever adventure with this again goes back to what I was talking about a little strange VFX shot and then the butterfly effect gag which is cool by me because we haven't seen it in Doctor Who yet of course there was that joke in Thin Ice with the 12th Doctor and Bill which was very good that was a funny joke but yeah a lot of old footage but also a lot of stuff hinting that we're going to be going back to Ruby Road now is this going to be in the finale is this going to be earlier on there is definitely the new shot of Ruby's mum but maybe just Ruby under the hood herself is this the finale is this going to be a location we keep returning to a location we definitely keep returning to is ruby sunday's house which i'm definitely glad because i didn't enjoy the character of her parents and grandma and also the unit tower no surprises there that one's coming back we already saw that in the previous trailer this time with new character who was announced i forgot his name in the show they announced him months and months ago he's cool there's also going to be rose there from the 60th anniversary specials and kate stewart Wahoo, Kate Stewart, my beloved fraud. But there's this really cool shot to open it up of the TARDIS spiraling through and then sliding into the front room. Again, very cinematic. And I like the Doctor's costume when he comes out here. Now, we actually already saw this. This is going to sound really niche, but we saw this in the Blue Peter competition video where Shuti Gatwa and Millie Gibson were filming this scene while the person who won the competition came in to see them. So that's cool that that's how the timelines add up. They've been filming these crazy in advance. We also see the TARDIS on this hill, it's gathering dust. This reminds me of the short monologue that was given by the Doctor in Wild Blue Yonder where he talks about if the TARDIS were to leave them and then land on a random planet, it would grow by a mountain in the water and there would be a civilization that grew around it. I don't know, it's, it's something like that. I'll post the script on the screen right now. But either way, it's interesting they're bringing that up. There's a lot of callbacks in the a trailer a short trailer so I can only imagine how many there are in the actual series which is great because we want to see all this interconnectedness in Doctor Who it makes the world feel alive which was the big pro of the original Rusty Davies era this definitely does feel like a Rusty Davies series very well edited trailer the vibes are immaculate bit of a shame that it wasn't on the actual Doctor Who YouTube channel and it was only on the Disney Plus YouTube channel all the costumes look great all the set pieces look great I'm excited for all of the episodes very disappointing in the scheduling that one is that one's a real L for me but definitely feeling positive and I'm glad they finally gave us a trailer it means I can finally use new footage in the background of my videos but there's definitely a more playful vibe there's a lot more self-awareness fourth wall breaks but you can tell there's also drama heart and sincerity there definitely looks overall good I think I'm about as excited for this as I was before I must confess the scheduling really took the wind out of my sails if this was actually airing at a reasonable time in the day and I wasn't dreading the premiere 
where they released two episodes. Two episodes, by the way, at midnight. Now I gotta stay up till 2 a.m. just to finish watching the episodes. Then I gotta record my reaction at 2 a.m. And then I gotta edit my reaction. And then to top it all, there isn't even that much Doctor Who left. What's it? There's only gonna be six weeks left of Doctor Who. That's depressing. So yeah, overall, I think the formatting of the series is pretty dire. I think it's a little sad that Disney Plus is the one that's posting the trailers now instead of the actual YouTube channel. Hopefully by the time the video's up, they would have posted the trailer on their YouTube channel, hopefully, just to make sure as many people see it as possible. At this point, I've given up all hope on Doctor Who not being just a normal Disney Plus show. And as someone who doesn't like Disney Plus shows, that's a bit sad to me. But yeah, good trailer. All the individual stuff's looking good. I'm sure there's a million things that I didn't touch on. There's a lot in there. It's very dense. Maybe I'll even make a follow-up video. But that's enough from me. How do you feel about it? Depending on how you guys react, depending on if you want it or not, I might do a community reaction to the trailer and I'll include the community's reaction to the news of the scheduling as well because that's recent news. I could put in the reactions to Stephen Moffat coming back as well. Why not? That could be a fun video. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments below. Leave your own thoughts in the comments below. And also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, you can click the join button below to gain access to a billion million perks and benefits, including access to my weekly members only show where I talk about all of the episodes I watch within the week and access to the Discord server where we do fun stuff and talk about fun stuff all the time. It's a hoot, guys. And thank you to the members. Teddy Bite, Just Tim, Lee, Kastretch, Architect, Rouge Argentine, Zach Pollock, Ertel the Turtle, Tom, Oz Baxter, Manny, Lahar S, Someone's Best Friend, Stephen Folden, Connor Bell, Snarly, Kyle Reese, Colin Savage, Sanyu, Casual Log, and Eric is waiting. And with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.